Welcome back to the channel. Now loads of people have been wondering what the hell is going on with the Suzuki. So let me show you what's been going on with the Suzuki. Good morning. Bit of an early start this morning because um, we're heading down to South Wales. I've got sumo swinging the camera so hands free. We're heading down to South Wales to pick up a back box for Sumo's camper van. That's the T5 that you would have seen in the last video where we've done the massive electrical installation. And we're also picking up a 1.6 engine for the Samurai. Downside is we've got to take the engine out. So we've, you know, it's an early start, get on the road early, get down there, spend a couple of hours pulling the engine, get it all loaded up. Then it's, uh, what, three, three hours, 20 minutes back home. So it's going to be a long day. Thank you for coming along for the ride. We just went to pick up the back box for Sumo's van, but it turned out to be not a 500 litre one like we were after. So the listing was completely wrong. So we would be absolutely fuming if we had traveled all this way for a back box that was a, it was, was it a 360 litre yeah. and not the 500. Um, so we've, yeah, lucked out on that one, but we'll keep searching for a back box. But now it's onto the engine, which is only 15 minutes away. Fingers crossed the rain holds off because we've got to pull the engine out when we get there. So, so we're just taking the engine out. Got it all unbolted. Um, pretty pleased with it. It's, it's, a, it's on a wrecked car, so it's sat on the floor. So we've got no access underneath. The car had to be lifted in the air for us to actually get to everything. Um, but it's all disconnected. Hopefully in the next few minutes she should be out loading the van and we'll be on our way. So fingers crossed. Just the strap. Oh, right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, engines out, guys. Yeah, they've got the crate now. the weather wasn't like this when we we're taking the engine out because right now it's absolutely biblical I mean we, we were doing 30 miles an hour on the motorway just then because the weather was so bad thankfully it's passing we're now creeping up to 50 just lifting up the 1.6 out of the crate so I could start working on it so it's kind of when we picked up we just dropped it in the crate so it wouldn't get oil and stuff all over the van so we're just slowly edging it out Handle before it gets too high, we'll just check everything. It's not going to destroy anything we need, and that one's all okay as well. So, we'll carry on rising, going up. We don't need to go too high, just enough to get the trolley out from underneath it. Push the trolley up, boy. Be off with you. Stay. So now we'll disconnect the clutch and fly. Let's whip this sucker off. Yeah, 
bad boy. It's nice when things go to plan. Oh, I thought that was going to give me grief. That was nice and easy. We'll chuck those in the crate for spare parts. One very lightly used clutch. Oh, spoke too soon. Let's go and get the big gun. The situation has been escalated from that to that. We have signs of grass at high level, so get rid of all that. No signs of oil leaks down here, which is great. There's obviously signs here of an oil leak here. This is a common problem, so there's no ring that sits behind there. I've got one on order, just waiting for it to arrive. So that will be fixed. Let's pop these dowels out. One. Let's take that one out. Just like that. So here's the 1.6 engine that I gave a good clean to earlier. Still not 100%, but it's enough exhaust manifolds off inlet manifolds off all the bits that i don't need are off apart from the distributor because i need to replicate the position of the distributor on this one to the one that's coming out the other engine so that'll be one of the last things i do so yeah that's done this one's well underway um i think i might go above and beyond and just shave this off while it's out let's just get it done that gives just a little bit more flow because as you can see this there's, there's no need for that middle piece to be there so i can just shave that out clean it up so that should be everything we have separated Engine mount was bollocks. We're getting there. So now you can see we've got the two engines lined up side by side. So clutch pressure plate flywheel from 1.3 onto 1.6 before anyone says drew you're a tight sod you're using the old clutch in a new engine it's not it's a brand new clutch and when i say brand new i fitted it two or three weeks ago off of camera so this is all brand new let me show you the gearbox because when i took the gearbox out to do it gave the gearbox a good clean so let's drag you in So the gearbox is all clean, put a new thrust bearing in there, that's all fresh grease. So as you can see, I had the gearbox out, it's, it's kind of semi still not attached, because I knew this was conversion was going to be happening. Uh, 
valve tab and that locates onto that one like so stay and we ram this home as hard as we can with the impact gun we don't I was just joking do not do that So we've got 55, uh, sorry, 58 foot-pounds torque. So 58 over there. Perfect. That's all of them torqued up. Now we're going to get the clutch and pressure plate on. So I don't have a clutch aligning tool. So what I do is I know the back of the pressure plate is almost the same diameter as the clutch itself. So as long as the clutch is touch, pretty much touching the pressure plate all the way around, I know it's going to be central. go up just a touch just there tightening them down with any force. I'm just taking up the slack of the teeth as you see them coming in. So I try talking it down like that. I'll be there forever. Let's find the torque settings on that. Right. Beautiful. So as you will have just seen, we've got 1.6 in now, we've got Weber carburetor, 3236 carburetor, air filter, we've got power steering, electronic power steering down there from a Toyota Prius, um, fuel pump, because the old 1.3 has a mechanical thrill fuel pump, so I've got an electronic one, everything's plumbed in, wired in, should we turn the key? So there we go, all running, tickety-boo. Should we take a quick run up and down the drive? It's really quite fun. Let's get rid of those shadows, Let's put some lights on. In the car, you can see, revving away quite happily.
that is on my driveway, so no moaning. I'm being a terror on a private, on a public road. It's all private. Let's take it across the garden now. So we'll drop it into four low. So four wheel drive, first gear. So we can actually get out because it crawls so slow. slow it crawls, it's well cool. Just steer it again because you've got power steering. You know, one finger steering in a samurai. Too easy. Let's go around the Christmas tree. So yeah, update on the samurai. She's nearly done. I mean, it really is a case of the front axle rebuild kit to go on. Um, fit the towing A-frame. Then she's ready to go back on the on the back of Victor for the next set of adventures. So yeah, really pleased with it. Now we're going slightly uphill, feet are off the pedal, it's well cool. If people have never driven one of these, they are so much fun because they are so basic. Um, just full of character. You're just cheering across the garden. The dogs are in the house, look at me as if I've gone mad, they want to be out here. Got to climb up the garden wall in a second, so it's gonna be a bit of a bump. Oh, it's stalled. It's stalled, so we'll restart. We'll give it a few revs to get up the wall. Actually, let's film the wall. So there you go, you can see the Samurai is almost done, so close to being done. Next thing is axle rebuild kit. That's an absolute must before we take it back on the road because of the floppy wheel. Kit actually arrived today. Um, what's after that? Fit the A-frame, ready for towing. That's it, that is it done. And then we could go and enjoy the little thing. Ready for winter as well. <laughs> 